Greetings, ladies and mental gents, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales from Outer Space, where I take stories from across the internet and read it for your pleasure. In this episode, we'll be reading Mathematics as a Weapon, written by Fog Witch 4275. I sat in my cell awaiting the inevitable, nothing but bars to let me know there was an outside, and little more than a concrete wall is something to look at. How did it go so wrong? We, the Radium Imperium, commanders of all the eight vectors, lords of space, found humanity during our forays into the early exploration of what was known as a dark sector. A void of space with little habitation, stars few and far between, trapped in a void with staggering few hyperlanes. Initially, it was just a small outpost we found, an automated signal beacon with two human occupants. We are always prepared for anything. Unlike other species, we didn't send exploration craft. We sent invasion fleets. We were the Empire. We were the Radis. The universe was our void damned birthright. So, as per usual, upon encountering a new species, our first option was to open fire, enslave, subjugate, incorporate. The first battle, if it could be called that, was a fleet of 200 warships versus an outpost crewed by two people. The humans we encountered got aboard a shuttle and escaped the star system. This was where we made our first of many stupid mistakes. We invaded the station, took control of it. We should have destroyed it, because barely a stand a week later, a human war fleet appeared and countered us perfectly. Guided in by the beacon of their station, they walked in in a perfect formation to wipe out half our fleet. Their ships jumped in the midst of our formation, and within seconds, two of our battleships and half of our frigates and corvette lines were gone. We reacted and put up shields and began fighting back. The human vessels immediately warped out of system. By the time we regained our formation, they warped back in again, in perfect form, to cost us a further three quarters of our fleet. Even though we vastly outclassed them in terms of technology and ships, their tactics alone wiped the floor with our fleets. Tacticians across the galaxy still question how humanity manages to know exactly where everything needed to be for the best effect. We assembled a new fleet, marked a position, and used the still active remains of one of our flagships as a warp point to get a new fleet. This one of over 2,000 ships in strength. That was our second mistake. Those ships warped in, and within moments, the battle was of disastrous failure. As every ship in the fleet had suddenly warped straight into a massive star system-sized field of magnetic nuclear mines. Nuclear Mines! Nuclear! This technology was forbidden in the Empire space, and these damned apes used thousands of them to wipe out one of our fleets. With this loss, humanity had effectively wiped out all full tenth of our military strength. The third of our stupid mistakes was underestimating their capabilities. We attempted a third fleet, a dreadnought and two escort ships under absolute secrecy. We had surmised at the time that we had a mole or an agent in our midst, and the humans were attempting subversion. The dreadnought was launched alongside two cruisers for an escort, this time warping in around the star zenith point where nobody would notice it was there because it was now in range of the system star, scrambling sensors long enough to come up with the plan. It didn't work. Within moments of warping in, the humans were waiting in the exact spots they needed to be, and boarding teams blasted open airlocks, starting massacres of all crew aboard all three ships. Two admirals and a fleet commander were captured, the dreadnought seized and disabled so we couldn't track it. The two cruisers scuttled and sent into the star. This was one of our worst mistakes. Humanity had a void-forsaken gift of being able to reverse-engineer anything and everything handed to them. And we essentially just handed them a starship containing all the most potent weapons and shield tech in the galaxy. Two months passed with us putting every ship and every slave in operation to blockade human space, 
tens of thousands of ships, millions of soldiers, the entire force of our slave networks. We believed it necessary. We were right, but for the wrong reasons. We also blockaded the wrong systems. Two mistakes at one. Mistake number four was to assume the humans were just primitives who wanted to be left alone. We assumed that they were simply territorial and wanted us gone. We accepted and broadcasted that they would be blockaded to keep them as isolated as they apparently wanted. Our fifth mistake was blockading systems in the hyperlinks and warp chains, because again, we assumed them primitive and failed to understand them at the time. The Mother World was the first to go. A galactic reign of 2,000 years at our nation's capital was obliterated by a nuclear bombardment that came from nowhere. Within minutes, one day, all was fine. The next, our humble home was reduced to a partially shattered ball of irradiated marble and glass. The surrounding fleets, outposts, and stations were completely destroyed. Our capital was gone. This is where mistake number seven came in. We retreated from our fortifications to help. There was nothing left alive to help, and nothing to fight against. We then received an SOS from our frontline blockades. When we retreated to assist, we fell again into a trap that destroyed what remained of our fleets. More nuclear mines. 20,000 ships were lost across eight separate systems. Our entire military might was lost in the space of less than a week. It was after this that the any colony we owned vanished, either outright destroyed by the humans or in full rebellion by slaves, spurned on by our catastrophic losses. Any attempts we made to quell the slave rebellions ended up with missing admiralty, assassinations of governments, or detonated explosives inside police stations and riot camps. An empire that lasted over 4,000 human years collapsed into nothing within the space of less than six months. I shed a tear in my cell, knowing that I, in fact, was the last radiant. With the sound of a horn bearing my senses, my species now faced extinction. A human opened my cell and sat opposite me. How? was all I asked. It is the concept known as Universal Behavioral Probability Index, or simply another way of saying predictive mathematics, he said simply, with an all-too-smug smile. I looked at him, dumbfounded. All of this was just due to them having math. But what? Everything around us acts on a pattern of behavior. Asteroids orbit planets, moons orbit planets, planets orbit stars, stars orbit the galaxy's center, and galaxies orbit a central point, which is the universe's origin. Patterns. By simply following certain patterns of behavior, one can determine things. Artificial intelligence can be used to predict certain events. Behaviors can be coded and stratified. Hunter goes to point A. Hunter focuses on using patience. We can use that to determine where the hunter will hit, what prey he finds, his rate of success, and when the prey will arrive. Sports Team A goes to battle with Sports Team B. We can use things such as various athletic stats from individual players to calculate probability of victory or loss. Let's take you now as our example. A race of highly intelligent aliens who use invasion fleets for first contact protocol instead. By the first interaction we had with you, we already knew more about you than we cared to. You are a warlike race that believes itself the rightful owners of the galaxy by your religious practices. You practice slavery. You invade species against which have no chance of beating you. And you also exterminate races that offer too much resistance to your divine right to rule. Finally, you use tactics that involve the use of overwhelming force of numbers and technology. Due to those factors, we can determine the following. You cannot be reasoned or negotiated with because regardless of what would have done, you would always ask for more. 
You believe that you are the rightful owners of this galaxy, which means your imperialistic hegemony meant that there was no prospect for peace, and your capacity for subversion meant that even if you had peace, you would very likely have no issue attempting to destabilize us. So, conclusively, the only way that we have peace is if your culture and species are exterminated and forgotten. To put it simply, we always knew what you were going to do because it was the only thing you ever did. And because it's the only thing you know how to do, it's the reason we have to get rid of you for good. We didn't want to be fair. We only wanted peace. Then why are you doing this? I asked, my heart collapsing into silence. Every simulation we ran. 7,234,812 simulations, each one conducted on 357 separate computer systems. Every single one showed every action we could have taken would have resulted in either horrible torture, assault, and abuse, the likes of which our greatest tyrants would have outlawed, or with our extinction. We were the ones hoping for peace. You are the ones who refused it. You, uh, were able to use mathematics as a weapon that collapsed my empire and exterminated my species. Yes, there was no other way that you wouldn't have allowed it. It was easy to know what you were going to do, because it was the only thing that you ever did. We read your history. We knew we made the right choice. There was no hope or peace. I held my head in my hands and cried. When I looked back up at him, he was ready with a loaded pistol. End of story 